So this, this is the piece of gear you've been looking for when it comes to filming yourself. Now, I have no affiliation with Axoon. In fact, I'll show you the receipts. I, I bought this on my own. But the biggest issue I run into when I'm filming myself is not being able to see what the camera's seeing when I need to go stand in for the shot. And if you're not using a Sony, then there's not really a good app that allows you to wirelessly monitor with your phone. And I wanna pay the money for a full-on wireless transmission setup. So that's where this thing comes in. This is the Axoon Cineview Nano. And let me show you how it works. You can attach this however you want, but for the purpose of this video, we don't even need to attach it. We're just going to get an HDMI cable, plug it in right there. Uh, I'm gonna need to throw on a lens to the Fujifilm to show that it works. Gotta be honest, this POV rig is not easy to work with. Okay, boom. Now we got the lens and then now we plug in the HDMI here and we turn them both on. And once those three lights are lit up, that means we're getting video feed from the X-H2S. So we're good to go here now to get the phone. Okay. All right, now once you have your phone, you're gonna to need to connect to the Axoon Wi-Fi network. Uh, it says obviously no internet connection, but that's okay. And then now we pull up the Axoon C app, select Cineview, boom, and instantly we have our viewer of what the X-H2S is seeing. So this is a really good example of the latency. It's not perfect, but it still works. But my favorite part of this whole setup is obviously you've got these like frame guides here, which are really handy. You can Select false color, which is handy. Um, we got the audio meter there. I mean, you've got a little vector scope there. You have tons of different monitoring options that you can actually use within the app. And obviously, even though I'm not right next to the camera, I can still have wireless transmitted video through this little guy right here. But this is honestly just the best tool that I've found when it comes to filming yourself. It's just like, it makes that process so much easier and solves the biggest problem, which is you can't see what the camera's seeing when you have to stand in. So I'm a big fan of this. Again, no affiliation with Axoon. I just genuinely love this tool. It has five volt out so you can uh, drip charge your camera while it's attached to your camera. It honestly sips on battery. Obviously, if you're powering your camera or your phone, it's not gonna sip, but running just as is, I've left this thing running on accident for like a whole day and uh, it still had power. That may be a little bit of an exaggeration, but it was going for a while. Uh, on top of that, and I don't, I don't know how I didn't even mention this, but you can attach your phone to it so you can have a, like your phone as a monitor, which is kind of nuts. But yeah, this tool is incredibly helpful. The connection can be a little finicky sometimes, but at the end of the day, for a tool like this for 150 bucks, which relative to other wireless transmission setups is incredibly affordable. So I don't know, I'm gonna link it in my bio. If you want to purchase it, go for it. I'm not trying to push products on you. This is just one of the most helpful tools I've found in a very long time. So I had to make a video about it, but until next time, let's get out there and make better films. This is such a sloppy video. I hope you enjoyed it.